everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Brandy here at Sunflowers and Moonbeams. And today I have another Kickstarter unboxing video. Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and opened the package so I could just pull it out. Here we go. Okay, so this Kickstarter is one that I funded back in July of 2022. And it is for the Blooming Cat Oracle, which I was excited about because I love cats. And um, this Kickstarter actually had the option to get, as one of the add-ons, the Blooming Cat Tarot added into it, which I went ahead and obviously snagged as well. Um, now this Kickstarter did really well and it met three out of its five stretch goals. Now it was originally a 45 card deck. However, one of the stretch goals was an additional five cards. So it is a 50 card deck. Um, now the first 22 cards of the Blooming Cat Oracle correspond to the Major Arcana in Tarot. These cards are made with a 350 GSM heavy card stock with a varnish finish. And I believe the creators of this, <clears throat> it comes from uh, Cos Cosmic Eye Tarot and their partner, Jen Brown, who also created the Blooming Cat Tarot. Oh. Look at that pretty purple paper. Purple's my favorite color. Let's go ahead and dig on in here. I have been waiting to film this all day so my kids could be in bed, so be a little quieter. So waiting to dig into this has been killing me because I got this much earlier in the day. Ooh, so excited. All right, so one of the items that I got backing this is a precious little necklace and it has a little kitty on it which I just thought was so cute I love this I don't have a necklace with a cat on it, but I guess now I do. Look how cute that is. Oh, that's neat. It's on both sides. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's put that to the side. This, I think, is the cat stand, or sorry, card stand, that shaped like a cat. There it is. Is that not precious? Oh, I love that. That is just too cute. All right. So this must be the tail, I'm assuming. This stuff out of the way. We'll start with the Oracle deck first since that's what the Kickstarter was for. Oh, looks like we have bookmarks. Girl can never have too many bookmarks, you know what I'm saying? thank you card. Here's where you can find their information. Okay, yep, there's where you can find these decks and some of their other stuff. Okay, and it's got this adorable vinyl sticker. I adore this. I adore it. Okay. And of course, the same image on 
the bookmark. <clears throat> and here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the Blooming Cat Oracle. All right, you're probably going to watch me struggle opening this because I am never the greatest at getting the plastic wrap off of these types of things. Oh, knocked my camera. Oopsie. All right. Well, that was very ungraceful of me, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Got that out of the way. Just fall out. Okay. It's a very nice box. Very sturdy feeling. Book. Love cats. Why, well, yes, I do. Ooh, it's in color. Okay. I'll leave that to the side over here. Okay. Ooh, I love the backs of these. That's very nice. And it is silver gilded edges. Shiny. All right. It's just, oh, it looks like it's got, am I hallucinating? Can you all see that? It looks like it's got little flecks of glitter. Oh, that's so neat. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Oh, I see. Yep. That does correspond to the full. Interesting. Take a leap of I'm just going to flip through these real quick. I love how the first 22 cards correspond to the major arcana in the tarot. That is really neat. And I just love these little cats. I just, I love cats. They've always been my favorite animal. Allow yourself to love and be loved. And that looks like my kitty. Well, one of them, I have two. I love that. I like how it has a keyword at the bottom, but then it also gives you like an affirmation. To go with it like a, a little extra message I like that it's what's on the sticker and the bookmark that's a pretty little kitty I like how it has flowers with them all too like plants of some sort oh that's a sweet kitty I think that's a what kind is that? Is that a sphinx? They're the hairless ones, I believe. And a kitten. Okay. That's a very fluffy kitty. I feel like this is going to be a very uplifting deck to work with. Possibly a, a, like a, a good mood type of deck. I mean, how can you be sad when you're looking at all these cute, fluffy kittens? That cat looks wary, which makes sense considering the message on the card. Flexible, be open to new experiences. I love the colors in this. Like the artwork is beautiful. It's simple. There, it's not busy. And I love the vibrant colors in this deck, especially all the purples, because that's my favorite. Pay attention to your dreams. 
I need to do that more often. I have trouble remembering my dreams sometimes. Most of the time, if I'm being honest. Explore. Rest. Oh yes, I'd love a good night's sleep. Friendship. Grow. <laughs> That kitten's licking his feet and his toe beans. Taking a bath. Learn. I can so relate to this cat that's just like sprawled out on this book because anytime I try to read anything, my cats are like, nope, I'm gonna lay here right in the middle of your book. These cards are they're not like overly slippery, but then again, I'm not filming this on an exactly flat surface either, so that might have something to do with it. I love this, the cat with the yarn. Allow yourself to play. Aspire. Visualize. Forgive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I love the cat energy in this deck. Now this was supposed to be the last card in the deck, the 45th. But then we got five extra cards from unlocking the stretch goals. So that one would be give. Love this one. The mama and her baby, nurture, care for your inner child, prepare, making biscuits, yes, my, my kitty babies love to make biscuits, they could open their own bakery, they make so many biscuits, and this, be your authentic self, that's a uniquely colored kitten, all right, so, cardstock, very sturdy, very durable. Let's see how she shuffles. Easy to grasp. Riffles easily. I had no problem there. Okay. Hand over hand. They're not sticking. I love that. I hate it when cards stick. Sometimes when they're new, though, I kind of expect it, but this one's really not. All right. Well, let's take a little look-see at the guidebook for a second. Okay. Designed to help encourage and develop self-exploration with the help of positive guidance and affirmations. You can use the cards with or without the guidebook as a divination tool to tap into your intuition and communicate with your inner guide, ancestors, spirit guides, etc. This book provides extra guidance and affirmations if you'd like to use them. If a specific affirmation speaks to you, use it daily for as long as you need to. You'll see recurring themes in this guidebook with a focus on positivity and building the life you truly desire. The suggestions and ideas in this book might not be for everyone. Ultimately, you have to decide what is best for you. Okay. Okay, so it has a full color picture of the card, the keyword and the affirmation, and then it has a quote. A little information, a little deeper dive into it. And another affirmation where it says, say the phrase below out loud five times. I trust myself to make decisions. I love that. I like how it gives you extra affirmations and a quote. I really like that. And I think, yep, I think that's gonna be the same for all of them. Keyword, affirmation, quote, deeper information, and an affirmation for you to say along with it. Okay. Love that. You know what? Let's just let's just pull a card and and see what the little book says about it. Just because I'm curious. Let's just draw a card. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, be your authentic self. Well, let's see. That was easy because it was the last one in the deck. Hmm. It says 49. I thought it was supposed to be 50. I guess I was mistaken with that. Well, anyway, it was supposed to originally be a 45 card deck. All right, let's see. Complete. Be your authentic self. To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment by Ralph Waldo Emerson. You cannot be a complete person if you don't express your authentic self. Sometimes we don't convey our true selves because we're worried that people will judge us or we're fearful of standing out. We let fear guide us into being someone we're not to either please others or conform to social norms. If you are overly concerned and worried about what people think about you, it can lead to anxiety which will affect your life negatively. Remember, everyone has an opinion. When it comes to your life, your opinion about yourself is the only one that matters and you deserve to be yourself. I love that and I couldn't agree more. It's very difficult though. It's very difficult to not let other people's opinions drag you down sometimes. Affirmation. I feel complete when I am my true self. I love that. Okay. Oh, I want to see what it looks like in the kitty cat stand. That's just too cute. I, I just love this. Lovely. That's what it looks like sitting in it. Lovely. Okay. Now. Let's just go ahead and rip this open. Let's see here. Oh, they stuck a note in. The Blooming Cat Tarot might seem to stick together the first time you use them. It's because they're new and haven't been used again. Yeah, that, I figured because a lot of a lot of decks do that when they're brand new. They need one in. It's a shame to ruin this pretty paper, but here I am ruining it. Oh, I really like that image. I can see why, though. That's very neat. Okay. Here I go again on the struggle bus with this plastic wrap. There we go. Took me a minute. All right. <clears throat> now this one is in a tuck box, which I don't mind. I don't mind it. Honestly, I'm probably gonna put it in a bag at some point anyway, especially if I connect to it and want to use it frequently. Lovely. 90 card, oh wow. Oh, okay, so it has 12 Zodiac cards, okay. I am here for it. Let's see. Let's open this, see if I can open it without ruining the box. I very much, I have like a strong distaste for tuck boxes because I struggle to get them open without ripping anything. Hold on a second. This is proving more difficult than I had originally intended. There we go, okay. So we have a little white book, looks very basic, does have one card spread in it, pretty basic, just a few keywords for upright and reversed, and tells you how you can use the zodiac cards that come in it, and these are the backs. Not really reversible if you know which side is up, but you know, I don't really use reversals anyway, so I don't care. This one does not appear to be gilded. However, she is thick. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna flip through this real quick. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love it already. I'm on the first one and I already love it. 
I love the colors so much, I can't even. And you still have the symbolism from the cards. And some of them like the Empress with the pomegranate. Oh, you can hear it sticking a little. Let's see, I think I skipped one. Oh, I did. I did indeed. Thought so. That's a cute lover's card. Let me cheer you. <laughs> the hanged cat the death card yes popular image I love that though temperance the devil all oh, the poor kittens falling out the tower the star <laughs> oh instead of a dog and a wolf it's a mouse and a rat <laughs> that's clever the sun I just I love the colors they're just so fun I bet they look stunning together with the oracle deck which you know they should considering they're kind of a pair the cup suit they appear to have all the same flower in them I'm not sure what flower that is I'm not really good with flowers. But I love the botanicals that they've used in the decks. Or are they buttercups maybe? I don't know, I'm just guessing. If anybody knows, please comment down below and educate me a little bit because I really don't know. The expression on the king's face, though. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Got his claws out. And this one looks like lavender, maybe. And this is the theme of this suit. Kittens in boxes. So typical for kitties. No. Can't say I've ever seen a cat on the back of a horse, but that would be interesting for sure. Ace of Wands. I am a big, big fan of all the flowers. that though that'll wear off with some use and let's see we are in pentacles now I like how they put the flowers in the pentacles themselves as well as elsewhere in the card love me a decorated pentacle Okay, let's see. I think this will be fairly easy to work with, especially if you're familiar with the Rider White Smith because some of the same imagery and symbols is there. It's just switched up a little bit to include cats. It's like a different take on it. Okay, now here we are in the zodiac cards Ooh. oh this is going to be interesting i wonder how this is going to 
affect readings using these. Like if you can use them included in the deck or separate or to the side maybe. Hmm. It gives you the symbol and then looks like traits, the dates, and then element, ruling planet, major arcana card, the stone, the color, lucky numbers, and the flowers. Oh, that's interesting. I love that. And they've got like this one's Leo's colors, yellow and orange, and their flowers, sunflower marigold, and they drew that with the colors in here. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's what a buttercup looks like, maybe. Okay. Oh, this is fun. I've never seen a deck that has these in it before, especially not a tarot deck. Feel free, of course, I should have said this earlier, but feel free if you want to take a longer look at any of these to just pause it. All right, so she's thick, but not unmanageable. Let's see how she shuffles. Oh gosh, yeah, you can hear, did you hear that noise? I don't know if it's because of the type of cardstock they used or if it's because they know that I can riffle them okay, but I did, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to bridge them, so I'm going to have to just like that. So you can riffle. Maybe. <laughs> but you can't bridge because that made a really odd noise when I tried to do that. I think this might be a deck that I would, because if I can't bridge, I don't want to riffle, because that's half the fun. So I think this might be a deck that I just shuffle hand over hand, which they're slippery. They are so slippery now that I've got them unstuck. I have small hands though, but like I said, it's not unmanageable. see here. Hmm. Let's see what they look like side by side to the oracle. Perfect. Absolute perfection. Absolutely perfect. I will love it. All right. Well, that concludes this Kickstarter unboxing. I am expecting a few more here in the next few months so I'm excited about that and if you enjoy tarot and oracle content such as this and you haven't already please um, leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video and if you like content like this please Click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when I post new content. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of these decks. Did you um, purchase the Blooming Cat Tarot when it came out? Did you like the Blooming Cat Oracle? Let me know. I'm curious. I'm curious to find out. 
what everyone thought about it. Well, thank you for watching and come back next time for another video.